Hi everyone, welcome back to Our Great Recipes. Today we're making minute steak and a delicious gravy to go with it. So stay tuned and let's get started. First we have Worcestershire sauce, which I can never say, butter, beef stock, and you can use this about any kind of barbecue sauce. I like the Hunt's Hickory, but you can use just about anything. Garlic, salt, pepper, sugar, and of course, steak. Now with the steak, I'm just using a fairly cheap cut of meat. This is a round steak. Now if you want better results, by all means, you know, use a sirloin or something like that. And I'm going to trim this steak into three pieces, and I'm going to begin cutting around the areas where it's marbled. So I'm just going to cut around this area and this area. Now that I have the steak cut into three pieces, I'm going to trim some fat off just around the edges like this. Now I'm going to place each piece in a Ziploc bag. Now you can use saran wrap or whatever. And I'm just going to take a standard meat pounder and I'm just going to pound this out till it's about a quarter of an inch thick. Now my meat's about a quarter of an inch thick. I'm going to season it nicely with some salt. Now I should add that uh, this meat, like any kind of meat, should be at room temperature. And some pepper. A dusting of garlic. I'm just using standard garlic powder here. You can use fresh garlic, crushed garlic if you want. And then of course I'm going to repeat this for the other side. Now that I've got the meat nicely seasoned, I'm going to cook it two ways. Uh, the first way I'm going to cook it in the frying pan, and the second way I'm going to cook it on the barbecue out in the grill. And then we'll test and see which way is the best. First, over a medium-high heat, I've got my pan nice and hot, and I'm just going to drizzle some, some cooking oil into the bottom. You should actually even see this like a little bit of steam coming off, off the pan. Now you can see the steam coming off this pan. I'm going to add the steak in. And I'm going to set my timer for one minute. After a minute, I'm going to flip it to the other side and let it cook for another minute. Now after another minute, you can let this go for a minute and a half, two minutes if you like it really well done, but that's why they call it minute steak, one minute on each side. I'm just going to turn off the heat and set this aside for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, while my other meat is resting, I've got my grill really hot here and I'm going to slip my other steak on the grill and I'm going to leave this for a minute or so on each side. Now after two minutes, I've left this for two minutes because the grill isn't as hot as the pan. I'm just going to flip to the other side. Next, to make the sauce, I'm going to use the same pan. Don't touch it because we've got all those nice juices in there. I'm going to add in my beef stock, the Worcestershire sauce, the butter, sugar. And I'm just going to take a wooden spoon and stir this around. The barbecue sauce. Now you can adjust this according to taste. If you want it a little richer, add more sauce. And after two or three minutes, I didn't allow this to come to a boil, I just stirred it gently. Um, you can be creative with this sauce as you want. You can put ketchup in it, you can do anything you want. This is the way I like it though. We're going to turn off the heat, we're ready to serve. And here's our minute steak, and I'm going to add a nice side dish of mashed potatoes, which I'll provide a link for. These are creamy and delicious as well. I'm going to pour some of our delicious sauce over. And while I'm doing this, I might add that I tried them both, the one on the barbecue and the one in the pan, and they're both equally as good. So, conclusion, you can do them either way. And here's our incredibly delicious and fast minute steak. You're going to love this. For more information on this recipe, visit our website at ourgreatrecipes.com. And as usual, have a wonderful day and bon appetit.